is a bros and we are returning to the World War One mod. Throwing down the campaign you guys had voted on, which was Battle of Empires. We have an issue though. So we played this, you know, Japanese war where momentarily we had put it into K-pop, although I'm sure it will be back with a vengeance. We were ready to play with the Russian Japanese beef going on. Uh, I shot the video, I exported it, got ready to open it with my editing software, and it was corrupted. So I went into OBS and just started seeing a bunch of corrupted files. So I reinstalled it. It works now. It is good. We are ready to replay this. And now you can try to force Russia out of Manchuria for this. It is enough for us to gain supremacy at sea by capturing Port Arthur. 14 rounds for the great victory. And if you look at what we got, uh, it's it's it looks pretty easy. Although this guy has a lot of health. But when I first played through this, I was just like, "What's going on? This looks so easy." 14 rounds for it, where you come up on missions that look completely insane and are like, "Take out these hundred units and uh, these 20 generals. You got a half a round to do it in." And then you come up on something like this that looks really easy. It actually turned out to be relatively easy, even with that bro that had a lot of health. Oh, and I did some. So, you know I'm not playing with the, uh, with any hacks. And, um, I was bitching about not being able to play with generals for each country since this campaign is going to be switching in between a bunch of different nations. So I did come up with an idea I think is going to work. And that is just buy... One general for the nation I'm playing with, and you use Kurinsky to max up all his stats. I think that's gonna work. I can't afford to do that. Round number two, and we've got the Russian Navy Leroy Jenkinsing us. Not a good career move for these bros. Yeah, and you know what? We were lied to by high command because it was just like, hey, all you got to do is take Port Arthur, bro. Easy enough. No, we got to take this bro out. This guy, him. We were lied to. I feel betrayed. And why didn't I put the general on here? There we go. See, he's he's pretty decent. He's not a pushover. Although I buy him, and then like the next mission, we don't we're not playing with Japan anymore. I don't know if we'll come back to playing with Japan or if we're just done playing as Japan. I might keep him around a while just to make sure we're done with Japan. See, these Japanese naval generals are are pretty lit. Ha! Literally, he's on fire. That was hilarious. Round at number four. Oh, you built a nice new fort. How beautiful. wonder how long it took you bros to make that. Oh, that, that hurts. I'm sorry, guys. Somebody's going to be going to the gulag over that. And then there was but one Russian naval vessel. Yeah, this guy's pretty stout too. He's not he's not just some pushover. He's no De Gaulle, he's no Bradley. 
He will throw down a fight with you. Okay, now I want to get situated to be able to encircle this guy, but I don't want to get within his range yet. Round number six. And let's go ahead and give him a debuff. See, this guy's not too bad. He's just some poor bro that was told to go out and face the mighty Japanese Navy. Oh, another nice new fort. A pretty nice fort you got there. Damn, you know what? I didn't notice. And I'm usually so perceptive when it comes to this. But look at the epic mustache on this bro. Like a cool little, like, diamond almost. Just If this was just a little bit more straight, it would be like a cool diamond. That guy's epic. Not as epic as the one Japanese bro with that mustache that goes out like a foot. But pretty epic. Round at number eight. I'm gonna go ahead and light this guy up. See? I mean, 38 damage doesn't really phase him that much. And for some reason, the Navy is really weak against him. Uh, hold on, what can I build here? Oh, I have no industrial. Well, I guess we're throwing down these. I'm just, I can't stop focusing on his mustache now. Just a ni nice stash, bro. I don't see anything wrong with one man complimenting another man on his epic mustache. If we had more of that in the world, I guarantee the world would be a better place. Hold on, why do... I wasn't paying attention to when I got this debuff, so I don't know why I have it. Maybe that... I, I'm kind of... I think I might know. They're just haters. They're jealous of this bro's mustache. I think that's probably what's going on. Especially this guy. He thought he had the great mustache. No, bro. This, this guy got you beat. Now he's pissed off. He doesn't want to fight. It's okay, I just got done saying one bro should be able to compliment another man's mustache. It's fine. Oh, boom! Port Arthur has been cleared. Now I should win, right? As soon as I take it, because that's what it told me. That's all I had to do. Oh, boom! I was thinking they were going to... They would lose that debuff as soon as that guy's mustache was gone. Oh, boom! I didn't even... 
I don't even know how many rounds we did that in. Was that like nine or ten? Ten. All right. So, next up, we got the Zhihai Revolution, the Chinese Revolution, Qing Dynasty, and look who it is, Puyi. That is right. I'm reunited with my BFF from my Qing Dynasty conquest. Commoners revolted against us. They killed all opponents of the revolution. We have a few territories left, but we have more experienced commanders. Let's rebuff the revolutionaries. I'm with you, Puni. Whatever you say, Puni, I will do. We're tight like that. 14 rounds for the great victory. Does not look too bad. I guess I'm going to have to find some Chinese uh, general, though, to use. And make him a badass? I don't know. I just can't wait to use Puni. I'm so hype. Hype crew. I am my own hype crew right now for this Puni conquest. Anyways, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell on your way out. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.